Hi, how are you? I'm Andrew. I'm going to be your host today. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to see you here for us. As I'm walking in, checking uh, the room for safety, any spills on the floor, any water, anything like that, any obstructions seems to be clear. Can you tell me what your name, first and last name is? Excellent. Do you have any allergies, Stacy? All right, patient confirms first name, last name, no allergies. Stacy, once again, I'm Andrew. I'm going to be your nurse today. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a head-to-toe assessment. I'm going to start with your hair. I'm going to work my way all the way down to your feet. All right. Just going to check the patient's vitals, check the chart. All vital signs seem to be within normal limits. Fantastic. Stacy, any pain today? Okay, when did that pain start? Can you tell me the location? Excellent. Duration, how long have you had it? Okay, how about some characteristics? Is it a sharp, stabbing pain? Okay, what aggravates the pain? Walking, running, exercise? Okay, fantastic. How about relieving? Anything that alleviates that pain? Uh, sitting, lying down, okay. Uh, have you done any treatments on it? Uh, medication, did you ice it when you first fell? So on and so forth. Okay, and then the severity on a scale of zero to 10. A zero being no pain and then 10 being the worst pain you've ever had. How would you rank that? Okay, excellent. I will mark your chart again. Alrighty, so uh, going to start once again with the, uh, the hair, inspecting the hair for any um, lesions, bumps, um, head, any dryness of skin. I'm just going to lift your head up here. It's going to be the alopecia. Uh, everything seems to be good. Uh, working my way down the first visual impression. Stacy, can you go ahead and smile for me? Excellent. Smile is uh, equal. No obvious deformities in the face. Um, looking at her eyes. First glance, eyes appear to be round. Uh, we're going to look at the sclera. Sclera looks to be white. Conjunctiva. And both eyes is pink. All right, come over here. Stacy, just going to turn this light off for a minute. All righty. Just go ahead and look straight forward for me. And then just follow my pen right into your nose. Excellent. Pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and comedy. Next, moving on to the ears. Uh, first glance, skin looks to be in good condition. Check behind. Stacy, any pain here when I push? As to a process in good condition. Once again, no obvious deformities. Um, skin in good condition. Uh, we're going to pull the penis up and back, looking down, no obstructions in the uh, ear canal, the tympanic membrane looks good. Um, Stacy, if you could just move your head to the right, once again, same in the left ear, uh, moving to the nose, first vision, nose that appears to be a midline, um, no obstructions. Skin in good condition, no dryness. Um, moving on to the mouth, just gonna apply some gloves here. Uh, first glance of the mouth, uh, lips appear to be in good condition, good color, no cracking. Um, no deformities there. Uh, Stacy, if you could just open your mouth for me. Uh, let me see any teeth. Can you stick your tongue out? Tongue appears to be in good condition. Uh, good color. No gingivitis. No parent. Uh, no issues in the mouth. No sores, lesions, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, next, we're going to work our way down to the neck. Uh, Stacy, if you could just move your head to the left for me. Just looking for any jugular vein distension. I uh, don't see any. I'm going to go ahead and check a carotid pulse. The carotid pulse on the right side is um, 
strong, rhythm is good, read is good. Uh, checking carotid pulse on the left side. Once again, carotid pulse is uh, strong, uh, rate is good, rhythm is good on the left side. Uh, looking for any JD jugular vein distension uh, here, seems to be good. Trachea is midline, uh, neck. Okay, so I'm just going to raise your head a little bit so I can check your lung sound. Have you had any trouble breathing? Okay, no trouble breathing lately. Excellent. So see, so just going to move this down here. As I'm coming down, I'm going to check the clavicles. Uh, seems to be good. Um, move this up just a little bit here. All right, see, so, so I'm going to check your lung sounds in six different locations. I'm going to start on the front, top right, to top left. So I'm going to use a zigzag pattern, and then down to your lower right. Fantastic. And then if I could just have you sit forward. Okay, lung sounds all come back uh, clear bilaterally. Uh, Stacy, do you know where we are right now? Excellent. Do you know what day of the week it is? Fantastic. And do you know who the president is? Excellent. Patient is A&O times three. Go ahead and just lower this bed rail for you here. Now I'm going to listen to your cardio, your heart sounds. Um, I'm going to do that also in five locations, Stacy. Uh, starting uh, at your aortic, which is going to be right sternal second uh, intercostal space, to your pulmonic, left sternal second intercostal space, down to herbs point, which is left sternal third intercostal tricuspid, uh, left sternal fourth intercostal space, and then I'm going to go down to the mitral, which is midclavicular fifth intercostal space. Rate and rhythm comes back strong on all, um, S1, S2 present, S3, S4, uh, no signs of S3, S4, no murmurs. Uh, next, going to move on down to uh, your arms. Going to check for brachial pulses. Moving down to, I'll roll this down just a little bit for you. Going to check radial pulses. Alrighty, then checking the skin trigger. And paprika. Skin trigger is good. Paprika comes back within two seconds. Can you look at your arm for me? Excellent. Bend at the elbow. Fantastic. And the same with your left arm. And bend at the elbow. Excellent. I'll go ahead and put this bed rail back up. Uh, I'm going to move right on down here to your abdomen. I'm going to start abdomen sounds. Uh, at first glance, uh, abdomen appears to be in good condition. Uh, no rashes, lesions, uh, nothing protruding. I'm going to go ahead and auscultate the abdomen, starting in the uh, lower right quadrant, up to upper right, to upper left, to lower left. I have ball sounds in all four quadrants. Um, Go ahead and just palpate a little bit. <coughs> um, uh, no issues there. Stacy, have you had any issues? Uh, and diarrhea, nausea, vomiting? No? Okay. And then um, I'll go ahead and just try to give you a little privacy here. First glance. Uh, legs appear to be, skin appears to be in good condition, no redness, um, no catheter present. If there was, I would check to make sure tubes are good. Um, everything is uh, still inserted correctly. Um, Stacy, any issues urinating? Uh, if so, how was that color? Um, 
how often a thing would follow and how often are you um, uh, are you having a ball movement is that consistency how is that excellent uh, just moving down to the legs skin appears to be good condition basically can you go ahead and just push them like hands pulling like you're dry, pushing a pedal on the car excellent and then back towards you fantastic gonna check popliteal pulse then check posterior tibial and then dorsalis pedis pulses all rates come back good rhythm is good um, feet look good heels in good condition um, feet look good I'm gonna go ahead and just check uh, cap refill on my toes for a second and two seconds um, Casey, I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and um, finish up here. Is there any uh, preference on how you'd like the bed? Okay. Put your head down for you. I'm just going to lower you back down. I do have your call button right here. And uh, personal belongings over here are going to be on this desk side table. Yeah, and I'm going to end uh, removing my gloves and um, washing my hands.